Welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to talk about transparent backgrounds. So new to version 2021.2 of the Z1 dashboard is the ability to make the background of the dashboard transparent. So this can be very useful if you are uh, streaming a, um, a session or if you just want to have more integration um, with the dashboard and the sim uh, and to make the whole thing look like it is more seamless. So we're going to talk about that, how you set it up uh, and what it looks like in the sim with the transparent backgrounds. But before we do that, uh, we have a new Discord channel. The link is in the description below. Please check that out, join the channel. Uh, you can talk about things associated with any of the Z1 software, the dashboard, the designer, the analyzer, and the server. So make sure you check out that link. Now let's talk about what you do to make the background of the dashboard transparent. So here we are in uh, the sim. In this case, we're using iRacing, but all the sims work in the same way. And we have the dashboard displayed in the upper left. So obviously right now, it's not a transparent background. You're just seeing um, the square of the dashboard overlaid on top of the sim. So the question is, well, how do we get um, this background to be transparent? So what we're gonna do first is just get out of the car so we can look at the settings in the dashboard. All right, so now we're out of the car and we're just in our standard um, garage screen in the dashboard. So we're gonna go to the settings dialog, click on the little menu icon and choose settings. And we're gonna look at the display tab. So there are a couple of options you'll wanna set to make sure that you get the uh, transparent background working properly. The first is always on top. You need to set this to yes. This needs to be turned on because when you go back into the sim, you don't want um, the Z1 dashboard to be displayed behind the SIM. You want it to be displayed on top of the SIM. The next thing is transparent. You want to say yes on this. Turn that on uh, so that when the uh, dashboard is displayed, the background is becomes transparent. So the way the transparency works is it takes whatever color is in this chroma key and it makes that transparent. So by default, uh, it's sort of a medium gray, and this should work for most situations. Uh, you can play with this if you want and change it to any color you like uh, and see what works best for you if this does not give you the best uh, transparency. Uh, and what it's doing is it's basically drawing the background in this color, and then Windows makes the pixels that are this color, in this case the background, transparent. So then you can see the sim through them. So that's what the chroma key is. The final thing is up to you on how you want things to look for the title bar. Uh, do you want it to be normal, which is with this uh, title bar up here? Do you want to thin just a line? Do you want nothing? Uh, or do you want racing? Ideally, you want nothing because you, you just want the, um, the, the dashboard to look like it's floating on top, of the, um, on top of the sim. But if you chose nothing all the time, then the problem is you can't actually uh, move the dashboard around or close it or anything like that. So the best option is actually racing. This will give you a title bar when you're not in the car. But when you get in the car, the title bar will disappear and the whole thing will be seamlessly integrated. So these are what we suggest to be the best settings. Always on top, set that to yes. Transparent, set that to yes as well. The chroma key should be fine with that. And then title bar set to racing. Uh, once you do that, click OK. And you do have to actually restart the dashboard to make some of these effects uh, take place. So I'm just going to close the dashboard. And now it's restarted uh, with those settings in place. Uh, and you'll notice if I interact with the sim, the dashboard still remains on top. Uh, one thing to note is that you do want to run the sim in uh, a windowed mode. If you run a sim in full screen, then Windows ignores the fact that you want to have the dashboard uh, displaying on top. So make sure you run the sim in windowed mode. So um, another thing to talk about with the transparency is that when you're out of the car, it's not a transparent background. And that's because you want to be able to interact with it um, more easily than would be the case if the background was transparent. So when you're out of the car, even though we've set all these options to be transparent, the uh, transparency doesn't show up at this point. So now we're going to get in the car, I'm going to click practice. And you can see that the dashboard here is now completely transparent. All I see is the track map, which is what I wanted, uh, and um, the things like the timing, the pit delta, and things like that. 
So this now is a much better uh, way of using the dashboard uh, if you don't want it to be sort of in your face. Uh, it's up here in the left. I can see what I want uh, and it still works as the regular dashboard would. And uh, if you uh, cycle through your dashboards, um, they still say transparent depending on what dashboards you have selected. And now here we're back on our track map again. And then if you exit the car, I'm going to press escape and get out. We're back to this screen and the dashboard has its full uh, display back again, allowing you to interact with it, move it around uh, and do whatever else you want to do. So uh, this was a relatively quick video, but we thought it was an important one to make because uh, the transparency option is one that a lot of people are interested in. And we wanted to make sure that you knew how to set the settings within the dashboard to get the desired effect of the transparency on top of your sim. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the new Discord channel. Again, that uh, link is in the description below. And if you haven't already, please download the Z1 dashboard software. It comes with the analyzer, the designer, the dashboard, and the server, and is available at www.z1dashboard.com.